<clears throat> Hi everyone, welcome. This is going to be my first tutorial, so bear with me here. This is going to be some experimenting. This is what I'm going to show you today. This right here. I call it a split time 4D thread the needle. I've had some disagreements with people and they say that it is just a thread the needle variation. I'm going to call it a 4 beat because 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. As you can see, there's pretty much four beats in it. And it's split time, obviously. Unlike your four beat thread the needle, obviously there's more work done in this. And it takes a lot longer. But because it's in together time, it takes longer to do because you have to put the 1, 2, 3, 4 beats in there. But here you got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's the side. Um, your prerequisite. Obviously, you're going to need to know thread the needle. Now, what you're going to want to do with your thread the needle, here's your prerequisite. Turn it sideways. I'm going to exaggerate it here. Notice how the hand underneath comes back around and goes over my arm cross it back over, under and over. See how I do that? You're going to want to turn that sideways. Once you can get that, your next prerequisite, what, what you want to do after that, uh, your next prerequisite, <laughs> okay, is your four beat thread the needle. Now actually I learned this trick before doing it in together time. I just actually recently learned this. And I didn't know about it before. I never saw any tutorials or anything. And I found that the split time one was actually easier. So I've heard different opinions and some people sit, have had trouble learning this. And actually, I think this is really easy to do. What you're going to want to do, once you get this sideways, now notice this is in together time. You're going to want to turn, make it go split time and just hold your arms crossed. Notice the hand that is underneath. You can learn whichever way you want first. Notice that the hand that's underneath comes up first, right there. Ah. My left hand, which is actually on my right side right now, comes up first. Whoop, 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 whoop. So you're going to want to learn that on that side, and then on that side. And the transition sucks at first. I'll show you, I'll get to that in a second. Yeah, you're going to want to learn that and that. So, from the side, it's pretty easy. Boom. Now, the transition in between the two, the one that's, my arm that's underneath right now, it's going to come up and over. And notice how they kind of split apart and I bring it around like that. And it, it, it's almost like the other one does an extra beat in between. So you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one. Notice how I pull this arm back around up here, the one that comes back. This one I bring all the way back to my elbow right now just to show. You see what I'm doing? I almost let it wrap around like that, and then I catch it right before and bring my arm around. Right before it wraps around my arm, I pull the arm that's on the outside back in. So see, as it just about wraps around, I pull that arm back inside. You can also do it the opposite direction. Just as before it wraps around, it comes back around. Of course, you're going to need to learn all that stuff first, but of course because it's the opposite direction, you're going to have the arm that's on top is actually going to lead, come in first now, of course. You learn that, and that, and then you just, it's the same concept. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And what's fun about this is you can get, you get the whole rocking motion in your body going. And it gets to be a lot of fun when you're, you know, at a rave and, you know, just woo, just getting all crazy with it. And, you know, you could start doing 
I'm going to start doing some stuff like this, get some circles going. You know, I'm very limited on room, so I keep hitting things, but, well, um, basically, see how it's kind of a butterfly motion here, but when you put your arms like this, it's almost like it's reversed. See, this way, it's like that. It kind of feels like it's reversed going this way. That's your butterfly motion. And once you get all that, you can start really playing with it and just kind of changing up the speed. You know, well, I think this tutorial is really going to suck, but, um... I can't really think of much else to say other than, you know, that, that, whoop, that. There at the needle, sideways, make it go split time. I'm, learn that on both directions, so you learn that there. Ignore that transition in the center, just kind of figure that out. And then to, for that transition, you pull your arm up, and just before it wraps around your arm, you pull the other arm back around. And I'll show again from this angle. Hope that helps. Well, uh, that's it.